How to change the pose of the AI influencer? Yes, this is the most asked question I received from you guys after my previous AI influencer video. So in today's video, I will show you in detail how to change the pose of your AI influencer while maintaining a consistent face every time. I'll try to make it as detailed as possible. So please pay attention and make sure you watch till the end because I'll give you some tips to make the result as realistic and flawless as possible. So without further delay, let's get started. Now, for those who haven't watched my previous video, we will use a tool called Focus to generate the images. It's a Google Collab tool based on Stable Diffusion. And the best part is it's completely free and cloud-based. That means you don't need any high-end PC for this. You can even use it on mobile phones. In order to open it, simply click on the link provided in the description and you will see an interface like this. From here, click on the Connect button to connect it to the GPU. And once it's connected, click on this Play button to execute the code. It will take a bit of time depending on your internet speed. And after sometime, you will get this Gradio link. Click on it and it will take you to the main interface. Now from here, click on Advanced and from this section, select Quality and then choose your desired aspect ratio from the drop-down menu. Next, click on Input Image and go to Image Prompt. Now you need to upload the image of your AI influencer here. I will use this image. Now in my previous video, I explained how to generate AI influencer images like this so you can check that out. I'll put the link in the description. Next, scroll down and click on Advanced. Then select the face swap option from here and turn this value all the way up. Now in the second image slot, upload the image of the pose you want to imitate. I am using this picture. Then select Paracani from here and turn the stop at value all the way up. After that, you don't need to do anything else or even give it a prompt. Just click on generate and wait for it to generate the images. Once it's done, you can see that the generated images look awesome and it has imitated the pose nicely. But most importantly, the face of the influencer is the same. Now you might see some imperfections here and there, but don't worry, I will show you how you can fix those easily. Let's try one more pose. This time I will use this image and click on generate. And after it's done, you can see that it has imitated the pose nicely and the face is also the same. Let's try one more image and then we'll upscale the images to make them perfect and even more realistic. I'll use this image this time and hit generate and as expected you can see that the result turned out to be really nice. Now if you wanted to generate more than two images each time you can increase the number of images from here and it will generate that number of images every time. And now let me show you how you can upscale the images. First go to the upscale and variation section and upload the image here. Next select upscale 2x from here. Now you can give it a prompt if you want or leave it blank. I'll just ask it to create some realistic skin textures with no makeup look then hit generate. It will start upscaling the image and also fix any imperfections. Once it's done you can see that the image looks really nice and some imperfection in the eyes and lips have also been fixed. And now you can upscale all the other images using the exact same technique. Now let me give you some tips to generate great results every single time. Number one you might have noticed that I used the same model images for all all the different poses and there is a reason behind that. After you generate the main image of your influencer, you need to find a model to use as a reference for different poses and stick to that model. This will ensure consistent quality and a consistent face every single time. Number two, use the main image as a reference point for all your future generations. Do not use the face swapped images as the reference image. Always use your main influencer image to get consistent results. Number three, after upscaling the image, you can do some editing before up uploading it to make them as appealing as possible. This extra step can greatly enhance the overall look and feel of your images. And finally, you need to understand that the settings I have used might not work well on your influencer's face. So make sure you keep tweaking the settings and keep on generating until you are satisfied with the result. Each model and image might require different adjustments to achieve the best results. So don't be afraid to experiment and find what works best for your specific needs. And there you have it, folks. Hopefully, after this, you won't have any issues generating generating your AI influencer with a consistent face. If you face any problems, let me know in the comments and I will try to solve them. If you found this video useful, give it a like and please support the channel by subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and as always keep grinding.